Okay, uh, hi, uh, my name is Justin Schmick. Uh, as you probably have seen in the past, uh, I did a Cruising with Farmers video with uh, Carmen here uh, a couple weeks ago where we got uh, about 500 shares. Yay! Where I promised that I would donate a dollar per share. Uh, and I'm so glad I did it because it's such a great cause. Uh, but you may have seen my follow up video where I said my wife is super mad at me for accidentally on purpose donating $500. Uh, Joe McClear saw that video and he felt really bad for me and my marriage and said, you know what, Justin, I want to help. I want to I want to split this with you, Hadsies. So uh, Joe wanted to be a silent partner at first. And I said, oh, no, no, you don't get to be a silent partner. You got to come do this with me if we're going to do it. So uh, Joe and I are going to split it and put that to a good cause, which Carmen is going to tell you about. Yes, so I'm Carmen. A lot of you know me because I talk every day on Facebook. I work part-time for new possibilities, doing marketing, grant writing, event planning, anything to get the word out about what a great shelter we are. We rescue all of our dogs from Kentucky, as odd as that sound. Really don't have time to tell you the whole story, but if you go to newpossibilities.com, you'll be able to read all about who we are, what we do, why we do it. Chamber of Commerce, that's that's our connection. Yeah. It's a great mm -hmm. opportunity to meet a lot of people that want to help your cause. Today, when we sat down and said, well, how do we get a dog? So the first part is this, is how do you get a dog? We've got a website there that has all the dogs that are currently available. So if you want to look at getting a rescue dog, your job is to go to newpossibilities.com. Look at those pictures, there's bios about them, there's um, their breeds or what we think the breeds are because they're rescues, so we really don't know. But at that point, there's also an application you can click on, apply for the dog. That application is for any dog, it's not for a dog. Once you're approved, and it's a very quick process, there's a couple things we need you to know. You must have permission from your landlord to have a dog through your lease or through a letter. We don't want that dog to cause any problems with your housing situation. We don't want the dog to come back because they weren't allowed to live there. So that's really the big thing. Once we know that you want a dog, even before you're approved, you're welcome to come in, choose a couple dogs. A lot of people will say, I only want a small dog, I'm not only allowed that, or I'm looking for a senior dog, I only want a puppy. There's a lot of different reasons. Some people walk in with the exact dog they thought they wanted, most people don't. They walk with the dog that chooses them. So we have private rooms you're gonna see later, and then we go through the process. It's a pretty quick process once you know that you want that dog. All the adoption fees are listed on there. They are non-negotiable, they are non-refundable. Um, this is a living, breathing entity. Just like you don't refund your child back to the nursery. But if you could. But if you could, there are moments. Yeah, about 13. <laughs> so, but most adoptions, they work out extremely well, and it changes people's lives. When we decided to do this, and I really thank both Justin and Joe. Joe happens to be my attorney. Did you even say who we was? Yeah. Yes. So when when we decided to do this, we said, how do we spend $500? And we kicked around a lot of ideas. And one of the ideas that I had initially was that we just put all of it into our spay neuter fund. We did something different. So 200 of that is gonna go to the spay or neuter. Every dog that leaves here is spay or neuter. That is the number one reason why we have an overflow of pets, is that people aren't responsible, either financially, maybe they don't know they're supposed to do it, maybe they wait too long and there's an oops. So what we do is we spay or neuter every single dog that leaves. And that cost is about 100, a little over $100. So they're gonna be able, through each one of them doing 100, they're gonna be able to have one dog not reproduce. Let me give you some numbers. The average female dog can get pregnant three times a year. The average litter size is six. Now I'm not a mathematician, but that's 18 dogs a year minimum. And how many years can that dog continue to get pregnant? Some of the litters are 10 or 12, some are two. So we're looking exponentially at a huge mass of dogs from one dog that doesn't get spayed or neutered. The other thing is, when we have a dog that's adopted out, we can bring in more dogs. So the more dogs that we are able to adopt out to you guys, the more room we have. Because we do have 
a space for capacity. We can't have an unlimited amount of dogs. So that's what we're doing today on that part is we are walking through, we walk through how to get a dog and our website is newpossibilities.com. And the second thing is spay or neuter. So these gentlemen are each doing $100. So we're gonna have two dogs um, that are gonna be spay or neuter depending upon you know the luck of the draw, how that money goes, could be male, could be female. And then the next phase, they're gonna look at doggies. You're gonna come with us. Yeah, we, we both, good. Yeah, yes. absolutely. We both picked ours out. Yes. Joe, you picked. Let me say there was Atlas and Flossie. Oh, Atlas and Flossie. Yes. And yeah. I went with Huey and Tango. Oh, That's who I'd like to see today. Those so. wonderful. So we're gonna have Chance, who is our shelter manager behind the scene. He's gonna video this. Hopefully, you find this informative. Hopefully, you will share these three videos. So other people know, and our adoption area is not just Oshkosh. We get people from Fond du Lac all the way up to Green Bay. Um, we, I think, have the best dogs. We have definitely the best variety because we're getting them all from uh, Kentucky to save those lives. These are what I call death row dogs. These are dogs that if we don't move them out, they may cease to live, and we don't want that. So we've got a huge selection of dogs. They come in twice a week. We have more coming in tomorrow. And uh, yeah, let's have fun with the dogs. dogs. Woo, yes. And for every share of these videos, Justin will personally adopt one dog. <laughs> <laughs>